Hey guys, so I am just sitting here and I was actually having me some um, this coffee right here, which is McDonald's. Y'all know that I love McDonald's coffee and it has four creams and three sugars. Normally they have a sticker on it today, they don't. But anyways, this is like the bomb, guys, seriously. And so I get a large coffee with four creams and three sugars at McDonald's. And then I'm gonna have this brownie. It's like a cookie brownie. And it's by Sarah Lee. So I'm like, yes, let's do this thing. So I figured I'd come on here and talk to you guys for a minute. See what everybody's doing today. Um, I've never tried these before. I've tried Sarah Lee's like Debbie cakes and stuff, but I haven't tried this one. O M G. Delicious. What are you doing, Roxy? Hmm? Those are good. These are perfect size because they're not like over portioned or what have you. Mm-hmm. These are really good. Hey, girl. She's taking a break and watching me from her babies. Yum. Oh my God, those pair, no Roxy. You brownie thief, you. She totally tried to steal my brownie. This is good. This is like, it's semi, it's like, it's not over hot, but it's like warm. It's cooled down a little bit. Love it. There's a freaking gnat or something flying around in here. <laughs> it's getting on my nerves. Can y'all see it? Really? Them things get on my nerves. It's like a <clears throat> fruit gnat or something. But these are good. I'm getting sleepy. In about 30 more minutes, my kids will be off the bus. Been washing <coughs> clothes and fun stuff. Y'all need to get y'all one of these, they're good. And they're like, you know how some Debbie cakes are really dry? These aren't. And they taste so fresh. And it's like they've been like just made out of the oven or something. They're good. But you have to be careful though. You got a portion control portion size of these. You don't need two, you need one. That's where people mess up. When you overeat, it ain't good. That's like... Look at this heart. How cute. My aunt gave me this shirt. Like, I'll eat that sweet baby cake, and then I won't have nothing else. Come on, sister. Come on. Like, I won't eat, I won't eat nothing else sweet tonight. And I had like a half a bowl of ice cream earlier. Normally, I keep it to like one one sweet thing a day. She's a good girl. Come here, Roxy. Come on. Come on, sister. She's like, whatever. She's sleepy. God love her. Damn, I'm a pretty girl. Yeah. She's a mommy now. Her's a mommy now.
Like, these coffees are the bomb. Like, McDonald's coffee, if y'all haven't tried it, y'all need to. This coffee is a dollar ten for the whole thing. Where so Starbucks? Now I like Starbucks too, but Starbucks would be like five dollars. Could get five of these for five fifty. Oh, <clears throat> since I'm doing this video, I needed to <coughs> come on here and say something. Um, <coughs> you can't have that, Roxy. A lot of people's been asking if I was engaged or what have you. Guys, those of you that don't follow me on Facebook and stuff, I actually got married in July, so I'm married now, and um, get out of that, Roxy. And then some people have asked about um, working. I quit my job about right when the kids got out of school this past summer because um, the reason being was because child like child care for child care was like way out the wall for four kids and the hours that I was getting to work like some days literally I was getting to work two hours yeah two hours and then child care for Isaiah was $15 a day so yeah it just thought like, it wasn't really paying me to work there and then when school got out I'd have to pay child care and it would like I wouldn't be bringing home nothing so the logical thing to do for me was to quit my job until I can find something better or get my like degree in nursing or something. Um, I'm actually going to be doing like CNA sometimes, but right now I've got to um, focus on myself for a while, guys. Listen, I've been a stay-at-home mom for 13 years almost, and so I need a little time by myself, you know, during the day. It's like I, I do like it. However, I do catch myself looking for Isaiah because, like, you know, he was with me all last year. And, you know, while the other kids went to school and, like, he was my little tag-along buddy. And, like, I'll, I'll catch myself, like, looking for him. Or if I'm sitting still in the house, I'll be, like, be like be fixing to holler for him. It's Sometimes it's sad, you know. But they got to grow up. They got to get out and experience this world, you know. And my kids are growing up. It's, like, sad sometimes. They, they grow up so fast. I love my kids with all my heart. Um... You know, people don't take the time to um, really see whenever you're a stay-at-home mom. It, it's a hard job. And it's, I mean, it's your kids and you sacrifice a whole lot. And I sacrificed and I, I stayed at home with my kids. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad.